My best friend's jealous fiancé told me that I am a dirty dog that needs to be put down and slapped me across the face. So my best friend took off her engagement ring and left her. Finn and I have known each other since we were in 6th grade. Around the summer of my 10th grade year, I came out to my parents as gay. They didn't take it too kindly, and I ended up disowned. Finn's family happily took me in and treated me with nothing but kindness. When Finn and I graduated from high school, he went on to work under his father while his parents helped me pay to attend college. During my time away from college, Finn met Sarah. I believe it was my third year of college when I finally got to meet her. It was during a family dinner. I greeted her warmly and tried to make my best impression because she was my best friend's girlfriend. When I went to shake her hand, she weirdly looked at my hand. I don't want to say disgust, but I'm not sure how to describe it. After that school break, weird things started happening like me and Finn's messages randomly being muted or my number randomly being blocked on Finn's phone. Things got even worse when I moved back home after finally graduating from college. On the days when Finn and I planned to meet, Sarah would call him and have some sort of situation literally about an hour or less from the time we would be meeting. She would say things like she's having car troubles, she's feeling ill, or she is lonely and needs him. I never felt right trying to stop him from going to her if he needed to. He would say he didn't, but just to avoid anything I'd cancel on him just to make him go see her. Eventually, Finn and I stopped hanging out as much because it just got annoying, for me at least. We would see each other at family gatherings, but that would be about it. Fast forward to January of this year, Finn proposed to Sarah. Everyone, including myself, had been over the moon for them. Let me be the first to say, this has been the shittiest time ever. To start, she puzzled everyone by immediately making a post on her Instagram story with a picture of her and Finn. She captioned the picture better than the rest, with a kissing emoji. This led me and Finn's older siblings to ask him if he cheated, because who's the rest? Finn responds that she's just too excited to make sense. That made no sense to me either, but but not my circus. With their wedding coming up soon, their planning has been nothing short of a nightmare. Her family, for some reason, doesn't want to help with the cost of the wedding, which isn't their obligation. So I get it. But we as a family decided to all pitch in and help them get the best wedding possible. Finn only had one request, and that was me being his best man. She initially agreed, but after a few weeks, she came back and said that me being the best man wouldn't be possible because she wanted that spot for her brother. This caused some trouble for them, and things were almost called off until I had just talked to Finn and was just like, it's fine, just let her have it and enjoy your day don't let me be the reason you lose what you two have. Of course, I was upset about it, but I would feel worse if things went south because of me. I would say that was my biggest mistake as now it feels like she is flexing her power. Recently, during another family dinner, she brought up seating and showed us a few pictures. Why would I not be surprised that she sat me at a table away from those I would call my family? When she showed us, I got a few glances from Finn's parents and siblings. And damn, I might be a doormat, but I was just fine with it if the wedding still got to happen. I figured that I would at least speak to one of Finn's family members or Finn himself tomorrow, since that's when we meet for dinner. But I was a bit surprised when Finn dropped by my apartment today. I guess he noticed my hesitancy since he asked asked me what was going on. I had to ask him if he really saw nothing going on. He said he felt really pissed about the entire wedding situation, but he chalked it up to her just wanting her day to be how she imagined it. I made sure to remind him that it was his day as well, which is honestly something I should have said back when I was removed from best man. I then asked him if he had any idea why she acted the way towards me. Apparently, during my time in college, Finn got closer to some people who went to our high school. This led to him meeting Sarah as well. He said that before he and Sarah started dating, it was one time when they had all decided to hang out and had been playing some sort of drunken confessions game. I've never really been to parties like that, so I don't know how those work. Anyway, he started rambling for a bit before I asked for him to get to the point. He remembers saying something along the lines of, I wish my name was a girl. No wonder she hates me. Let me clarify that Finn and I have never had anything going on. We ended up understanding that there is a problem that at least he and Sarah need to address. He told me he'd call later today after they sit down and have a talk. Update. The wedding is off. Sunday dinner rolled around and everyone came by. I knew he had spoken to Sarah because she was giving me a deaf glare from across the table. At some point, Finn pulled both me and Sarah outside to the backyard. So at this point, Sarah got red in the face and just began screaming. Most of what she was saying couldn't even be understood, but I made out things like he effing knew 
And why would you tell him you said that? I knew you two had something going on. At that point, Finn's parents and siblings had finally come outside because of Sarah, and they asked what was going on. I try to explain, but Sarah just starts screaming that I'm a dirty dog that needs to be put down. I guess to cool the situation down, after a little convincing Finn's mom is able to get Sarah into the house. Finn's sister also went inside with them, leaving only me, Finn, Finn's older brother, and Finn's dad outside. I explain my side of the story, and then Finn explains his side. Eventually, Finn's mom and sister come back outside. They say that Sarah is in the bathroom cleaning herself up. His mom starts the conversation with you two messing around. I'm effing floored. I fill her in on everything she is yet to know. I tell her that I've never flirted, kissed, or done anything else that was not platonic with Finn. I'm guessing Sarah was listening in through the back door instead of just coming out because as soon as the words left my mouth, she came out screaming at me that I'm a liar. I ask her at what point have I ever made her feel like I'm chasing after Finn. I mean, I'm I'm helping to fund a damn wedding. Finn's parents are trying to help her understand that everything is being misunderstood, but she isn't having it. She kept yelling until the point where Finn had to pull her aside. It started off as a yelling match between them. Color me surprised when she walks back over like everything is fine and slaps me. After a long period of silence and shock, I was just done and I was like I'm out. Finn and Sarah begin yelling at each other again but at that point of couldn't have cared any less. I head back inside to grab my things cause I'm done with the situation. Eventually, Sarah screams at Finn from calling him names to her saying I'm sorry and give it back. Finn yelled at her to stop. Hell, even I was scared and I didn't even do anything. He then said something like I let you have the wedding how you want it. I've never given you a reason to doubt me. The fact that you're just yelling and screaming here like a toddler is honestly something I'm not looking for in a partner. You make up this fake scenario in your head, and why? What good does that do? You're pissed about a comment made at a party before we even dated, and that is crazy to me. You won't apologize. You won't listen. I should have taken the ring the moment you slapped him. Nobody in this house has ever disrespected everyone else like you've done today. Finn came inside as well and began grabbing his things. Update. The entire time, I was surprised but not interested when Sarah began apologizing to me. I mean, I didn't even want her to apologize in the first place, but just treat me with the kindness I offered to her. Why did we have to go through all of this for you to realize that you're just being downright nasty? I'm not sure if she's been cheated on in the past or if it's some kind of trauma or something, but it's also not for me to figure out. Finn ended up dropping her off, and I'm guessing he called me by the time he got back to his parents' place. I didn't even answer because I was just tired and the entire confrontation drained me. It definitely could have gone better, and I hope that this would be something that could be easily fixed. Instead, it destroyed a relationship which I feel shitty about. It's Monday afternoon, and there is still no word on if Finn and Sarah have even spoken to each other this morning. I haven't spoken to anyone this morning either, but Finn did send me a few TikTok videos. I think it's just sad because even with the way she treated me, I think their relationship was a beautiful thing. And it sucks that things such as jealousy and misunderstandings can be silent killers to a relationship. I thank you all for the advice and for pushing me towards talking to someone about this. I wish things could have ended differently, but as some of you said, this should be a wake-up call towards both Finn and me. I'm not sure what will come of everything. Maybe they will reconcile eventually, but I think for now, the wedding may be off. Update. It has been almost a week since my initial post and I can't thank you all enough for all the advice. Even the people who called me out on being a doormat, thank you. Since my last update, a lot has happened. I want to start things out by flat out saying that there isn't a chance of reconciliation between Finn and Sarah, and after reading everything and really taking a step back to see how this situation was definitely a blessing. I'm happy with the outcome. Since the major fallout, me and Finn have spoken a lot about not only being open and honest with each other about things that bother us, but to also establish boundaries for our future partners. Not that either of us is getting out there. Yesterday evening, Finn and I went over to the apartment he shared with Sarah to retrieve his belongings. When we got there, Sarah wasn't home, so that was a relief. It was a bit of work to get all of his things bag slash boxed up and put in the rental, but luckily we got everything. I actually live in a decent sized apartment, so Finn is gonna stay with me until he settles everything with the place he had with Sarah. Finn along with the rest of his family ended up blocking Sarah, with Finn blocking her after they spoke a final time this morning. 
I was around during the conversation and there was another moment where you all really helped. I'm guessing Finn did take notes from you all because he spoke for a long period about how she has things that she needs to work on before looking for a relationship with some of them, being the ability to love herself and dealing with her mental health as well as she is clearly not in a good state. There was a lot more, but that is just to make a long story short. She asked him if, was there really no chance that things could work out between them? He told her, no, not only because of what he had just said, but because she disrespected him. Me and the rest of his family, he told her he should have put his foot down a long time ago. And it's just as much his fault as it is hers that things got this far. He told her that he wished the best for her. And when she is ready for a relationship and the right time comes, then that will be that. There was a long moment of silence. And then she ended the call. And he blocked her not long after. I'm not sure how the wedding cancellations and all that good stuff will work, but I'm sure we'll handle it. As far as me and Finn's relationship goes, I feel really happy. I feel like I got my best friend back. And it's crazy how you don't realize how different the energy and friendships become when you're in situations like that for that long. I can admit that, no, none of this was my fault. However, I could have spoken up about it not only for myself, but for Finn as well. Maybe the two of us along with the rest of the family should take a trip somewhere, taking time for ourselves. I think this whole situation has been very eye-opening for both me and Finn, and there needs to be some changes, especially with us in our communication, because as you all said, it wouldn't have gotten this far had we spoken on it. That's pretty much it. There wasn't a crazy fight scene where the police bust in and take Sarah away. I think that Sarah definitely needs to get her shit together, but we also have to better ourselves as well. And some of you have made me very aware of the pushover I can be. Smile, you've all given me so much guidance and that really warms my heart. I actually cried a little because almost a week ago I felt so hopeless. This will most likely be the last update, but before I go, I'll answer some of your questions that I felt shouldn't go ignored. Also, I read every single comment, and even if I didn't respond, best believe I took it to heart and I am forever grateful. Update. Hi to those still out there. Dear little has happened since everything went down. We are currently at a vacation cabin, and the picture is a trail that we had taken a walk on. Finn is doing really well, and his parents as well as the rest of us are really happy to have him around a lot more. I've lived in city all my life, so to see those huge hills is crazy. Ah. Also, I guess Sarah has been up as well. Since Finn and Sarah have the same friend group, he saw a picture from someone else's page of Sarah out at the club. He seemed indifferent to it, so I guess he's also learning to let it go if he hasn't already. Finn's parents and siblings leave tomorrow afternoon for either work or other reasons. But Finn and I decided to stay at the cabin for a while longer. 